Right. We also talked about, you know, incorrect scale up being one of the reasons why, you know, sometimes mixers don't work at the production level, they work at the lab level. So uh, scale up of mixers is an, again, you know, uh, a fairly uh, detailed topic uh, in itself. Uh, but any such uh, uh, discussion will primarily focus on, on three aspects. It will focus on the geometric similarity of the system. So when you mean geometric similarity, what you see on the left, you see that there is a one liter beaker. Okay, that's that's a lab equipment. And that is scaled up to a thousand liter mixing vessel. Now, when you scale up, uh, you want to make sure that the ratios of your say diameters, so diameter of the smaller equipment to the diameter of the larger equipment. Okay, you maintain uh, uh, a specific ratio, uh, same way the length of the equipment, uh, okay, I'm sorry, uh, the diameter of the agitator to the diameter of the vessel that is maintained, the length of the vessel to the diameter of the vessel is maintained. So when you maintain these ratios uh, constant, you are basically maintaining a geometric similarity. Okay. Then we talk about, uh, uh, you know, kinematic similarities. Now, when you talk about kinematic similarities, uh, you talk about factors such as the speed of operation. Now, say you have a one liter mixer and, and that one liter mixer required, uh, you know, 500 revolutions per minute for mixing to take place for that size. Uh, it does not mean that the production size mixer will also work at 500 revolutions per minute you have actually scaled up the mixer. So in such cases, we maintain what is called as the peripheral speed or the tip speed. Okay. And the tip speed or the peripheral speed is nothing but, you know, pi dn. So the sweep of the, uh, you know, circumferential sweep of the, the, the agitator, that is pi d, and the speed of revolution is n. So the pi dn in first case is equal to pi dn in the second case. So when you have a smaller vessel, the speed will be high. When you have a, uh, I mean, a smaller vessel and a smaller impeller diameter, the speed will be high. When the vessel diameter and the impeller diameter are more, the speed will be correspondingly low. And you maintain such parameters to maintain kinematic similarity. And uh, dynamic similarity is maintained when geometric and kinematic similarity are taken care of. Automatically, dynamic similarities are maintained. These include parameters such as maintaining a power per unit volume, you know, maintaining the dimensionalness numbers constant, such as Reynolds numbers. So as I said, it's a fairly complex uh, subject, but to start with, we need to make sure that we maintain a geometric similarity, a kinematic similarity and a dynamic.